G'day, it's Brennan here from Life's a Boar. The exciting clip that you're about to watch is just one clip from one of the over 50 full-length hog hunting films that I've made over the past 20 years. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. But if you'd like to see more, then click the link in the description below or in the first comment in the comment section and I'll give you right now seven days free access to my hog hunting site. On there is hour upon hour of top quality hog hunting action, entertainment and information. Easily enough to get you through your 14 days of self isolation. So like, subscribe and click that link. And now let's go hog hunting. I've teamed up here with a couple of mates, James and Al, for a North Queensland cane hunt. Unfortunately, the area we're hunting has just been laid with baits, so we have to be pretty careful with where we let the dogs out and where they go. Literally, the second I turned the camera on, the action started. Look, look, look. Oh, yeah, big mob there, look. Oh, pigs right there. Yeah, we'll just keep the lights up to go down here. No, they're gone. They're, they're in the paddock, mate. Straight in that cone. Well, no, we can't go. We can't get down there with the dogs. No, but we, yeah, but we can shoot. We can yeah, just no, go. They're, they're fucking. Well, why don't we go and see? Oh, yeah, we're gonna go see them, mate. Mate, whole mob of pigs right there. Oh, they even... scattered quick, mate. They... I, I thought if we had to just kept driving, they would have stood still. Yeah. Mate, there was a good mob. Yeah, there have been what ten there, mate. Easy. One so, or two good size ones, yeah, eh? Yeah, up to sixty. So. Let's go there, we'll just we'll head go up. and see the, see the baits there. Yeah. So we'll go and see the owner. He might not have put them out. Yeah. If he's put them out, which just stuffs it for us. Yeah. Okay. But we're just heading up. What, what was their plan? We're going to head up that, that hill there. Oh, the well, that's there. still half indecisive. It's sort of still making, making your mind up, aren't you? Changes pretty quick when you see pigs. Mate, when you see pigs, <laughs> they all just <laughs> pass, oh, pass oh, oh, big, big, big. <laughs> go up here and see what happens. We'll go and park at the trap. Yeah. We'll just drive nearly straight to where we just seen them pigs, but just around the corner so you can see all that open flat. Yeah. And we'll just park there, let the dogs out. You stand in the back of the ute. Yeah. You should be able to video everything from the back of the ute and we'll just wait and see what comes out. Yeah. Right there, hey, that should be the way to go, James, or what? And then when he goes past the bottom, they're gonna come out in that flat. Well, they should head to the creek where he's gonna be parked. They should head, they all should wanna go over to him. Yeah. Unless they come out this end of that path. Isn't the reason why he's going to that end, that, that creek stop end, is it to him. stop him? No, to stop the dogs going to the baits. Oh, yeah. The baits are only in one spot and he's just gonna make sure the dogs don't eat the baits. Oh, yeah, cool. That's so the only reason good. he's going there. He's yeah, just going to see if pick something out the dog. As soon as James opened the cage, the dogs flew out and off around the edge of the cane block. Oh, the dogs have gone past it. The pig just ran in. She's all on. I caught up with James who was monitoring the dogs on the GPS. We could hear a bit of a tussle going on on the other side of the cane block. So we put our heads down and crashed towards them. Yeah. 
we got their riders Elrod, and together we finished off this small ball before the dogs bolted again. I didn't let me ask my pup. <laughs> this time they nailed a really good black and white ball that would run out of the cane and into the scrub. He's a good ball. Ooh. Ooh. My. My. My, he's a good pig. Oh, he's a cracker. Oh, okay. He's a good black and white ball. We didn't even have time to stop and have a look at him. We ran the dogs on again, knowing there were still pigs to be caught. Get those dogs running on again. Good dogs. Alrighty, let's go. I'll get around here. Show these dogs there's plenty of pigs in there. With the dogs all heading in different directions, I caught up with James again, and we all got back into position. There's James perched up on some soil there. One of his dogs. Just keeping an eye out on this end. And then we've got Al all the way at that end, keeping his eye open. With the sun going down they got another, and another, and our quick haunt in the cane went on into the night, with this ball being the last of seven for the afternoon. With that done we headed back to have a closer look at the biggest ball, which turned out to be one Alan James had had an encounter with once before. American, American we had about eight dogs bailing it beautifully. Yeah. And I walked in the cane, snuck right up to it. They weren't even touching it. And I dirty third went right up, and I was just like that, and I was just about to pull the trigger. And this big bull out of pup just come flying in, launched in, and just jumped on top of it. And yeah. It up. And all hell broke loose. And it ripped him straight in under the leg. And he just lay there howl, and the dogs chased it and couldn't catch it. He just he just legged it. And then about what a month later, eh, that dog didn't heal, and we squeezed a big hole on its leg, and the tip of its hook, that tusk come out of his leg. Was in there for a month. I got the tip of that at yeah, home. Right. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Finally got it. Where did he come? Yep. What was that about? That'd have been. Wow. Well, yeah. Four, three months ago. Yeah, a long time ago. That's definitely him, but mm. he's a good pig. He'd be eighty. Yeah, I reckon at least eighty. Yeah, easy. I reckon he's ninety. James's dogs are a line he originally brought to Australia from New Zealand around eight years ago. A cross of Airedale, Greyhound and Collie with a touch of Bulldog. Are these dogs all pretty pretty hard dogs, are they, James? Yeah, well, they prefer to hold than bail, but it's smart enough to realise if it gets too hot or gets a bit, uh, a bit heated, they'll stand back and bail. Yeah. Go, come here. We were hunting with three today, so we loaded them up and hit the road. Come on. And they're in. Yeah. They're ready to go. Let's go have a look. So James, what's the plan mate? Where are we going? Oh, we were going to go to the creek, but it's yeah, too close to the highway. It's, it's a bit risky. Yeah, we just go straight out to our normal spot. Yep. Well, we've been out for ages. We've just been going for hours. And um, yeah, there should be something around. Fingers crossed, eh? Also along for the ride this time was ours young fella Zach, or as he's known, Pac-Man. Listen, and if we don't get up with him, 
we'll just um, we'll drive up the top and hit that top back. Yep. Around and we'll go up the left. Well, you don't do it. Don't I reckon we'll just walk along there, just on the off chance, see what happens. It'll take five minutes. And then just head over to that corner then, the dogs will search nothing there anyway. We didn't have a specific pig we were chasing. We were just going for a look and hoping. But it was only about 10 minutes in that we saw some fresh sign at a wallow where a decent sized pig had had a good roll in the mud. Jewish. A little calf, eh? Yeah. I see it in the dry country now. Look at it. Oh, oh wise. I'll get a few on the weekend. The wallow was just before a stand of bananas, which according to the GPS, the dogs have gone into and out of at a fair rate of knots. How far are they, James? They got one dog, 475. Yep. Yep, bark. They got him. That's Gobs. That's in that scrub where we've got that big fat sour last just, time. Just give just... him a bit, you can get this. 619. It's standing still. Yeah, it's bailed, let's go. Is that what I can get? With the dogs bailing solidly, we set off with Alan Pac-Man leading the charge. It's always a race to the pig, isn't it? <laughs> Come the squeal, this brake's going. Fight. Fight. To me, <laughs> so, hey, straight so, through the camp, straight through the fence. Well, they we pulled that wire out, mate. Like he wasn't even there. Look, straight like, there. <laughs> you busted the wire. <laughs> yeah. Well, I couldn't get a headshot. No. I just went in the back. But that shield would have slowed it right down. Should we straight there, John? Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. You feel that? <laughs> That's solid. Eh? Second shot should have been here. Look. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> the back the right between the eyes. I thought I had to because he, he was going to know how you felt. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Dad, you nearly tripped. Mate, he was right on your heels. Did you video it? Yeah. <laughs> he was on your heels big time, mate. Surprised he didn't, but he ankle tap you. <laughs> and that's with two dogs swinging off. Yeah. Oh, I think I think that fence was what was pulling him up from giving us a vlog and yeah. touch up. Mate. I can surprise he bailed in this open. Yeah. yeah I was right here. I thought oh, down I, that I, I them to be in that creek. Yeah, in the thick stuff, eh? Mm. No, those dogs did awesome. The nice cane slash banana crop ball. Come off the banana crop. I said 98, eh? Yeah. 
So he's a 110 kilos, you've sort of guesstimated. 